Hello, hello everyone, this is Caleb, wishing you a Merry Christmas Eve. What the heck? <laughs> um, okay, so I just logged on, and my chests are weird. Vanilla texture pack, as usual. But, uh... I think that it's Christmas in Sweden. They celebrate Christmas on the 24th. So... Merry Christmas, Sweden, I guess. <laughs> uh, that freaked me out when I logged in. I was standing, like, right here. It just went, Oh my god, I've been pranked! And, oh, no. What? They're Christmas? Actually, I want to see them. I don't have any in there. Uh... Let's make a couple. That's not them. There they are. Sixteen. Boop. Oh, look at that! Aww. That's so cute! Take a look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and they turn red. Presents. Double chess are chess are green. Presents. That is so cool. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I've been... I think I released the last video today. Yeah, I did. I think I like this better. I slept on it, and I like it. Haha, uh, -ha, double died. Relog. There we go. Looks good to me. Now they match. Yay! Um, so... Last episode, I talked briefly about thinking about making sort of a Rivendell project over here in this area. Boop. There we go. Uh, so I made sort of a torch path to the area just to, to let I know the way. Hey guy, you're not going to blow up. Nope. Uh, so I saved some of the villagers. There's one over there. There's a couple in this forest. And there's a big hole right there. So this is the area I was thinking for the Rivendell Elven Village project. But uh, I caught wind that there's a mod on Feed the Beast where you can use tiny little minuscule blocks. And that that sounds really cool to me. I like that idea. Uh, I like doing detailed sort of builds. So that would just fit right in with a Rivendell type project. Hey guy! Staying safe. So I think I'm gonna do a Fee the Beast series and make like a Rivendell thing. I don't know, I'm not too interested even though I like technical Minecraft stuff. Redstone and stuff. All the Feed the Beast stuff seems too complicated and difficult for me, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out. So I might record that, might not. Not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, would you watch it if I recorded it? Light up a little bit here. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I feel sort of 
that I'm obligated to record sometimes. So I don't really want to work too much off camera. Even though I like working off camera as much as I like on camera. I don't know, two different experiences. Hey buddy. No, oh, that's not very nice. So I might record that. Might not. Might just be status updates. I know uh, Just Van, who's another Let's Player on the server, just recently celebrated his 1,000 subscribers. Congrats to him. Uh, but he sort of has a style where he builds it and then films himself talking about it. So I might do that. Only I think the episodes would be like short because. I don't talk as much. I do, but I don't... The, I don't know. Uh, What else was I going to do? Oh yeah. I got some villagers in. And I got an iron golem really, really mad at me. So that's fun. Hey guys. I locked them in here because... So that they don't escape again. One iron golem is very mad at me. Is he in there? Is he still mad at me? Oh no, that's the guy. He doesn't like me. Not at all. Oh, does he? Maybe he doesn't care anymore. But he killed me a couple times. Okay, I guess they don't care anymore. Cool, that's awesome. Good to be friends again, buddy. And uh, the villagers are breeding like crazy in here. I I put like three in, three or four maybe. And uh, they just bred like crazy right away. So that's good. Uh, what else? Nobody guessed that how many clay blocks there are right as of yet. Uh, so yeah, I also, last time I was talking about these pathways that I really like. So I put in this one to the cow farm and tree farm and storage room. And then I cut this piece of ground away, which I was planning to do for a really long time, but never did because I was... Oh man, I gotta move all that dirt. And it took me like 10 minutes, maybe. Just no time at all with efficiency 4 tools. I always think they're going to take a lot longer. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did. What was I going to do this episode? I know I was going to do something, but I totally forget. Uh, a blonde moment? <laughs> uh, more presents! Yay! What was I going to do? Uh... I'm gonna think for a second, and then I'll come back. Yeah, because I forget. Okay, I remember what I wanted to do. Uh, so this area, I had a nice plan for it originally. It was supposed to be like uh, one of those storage rooms that Etho built. I don't know, I built this a long time ago. So it's supposed to be one of those storage rooms that Etho built where the doors came down and hid the chests. And you'd walk in and then all the chests would reveal themselves and you'd walk out. And they'd be hidden again. Uh, so, but I took that out because it got really laggy. And then this, ever since I put the new storage room in, I haven't really been over here. So I think I'm going to take this thing out and rebuild it. Because it's really handy having like a mini storage room for only the most important stuff. Ah, uh, isn't this nice out here? And I had all this wiring out here, but not anymore. We're right near the, like that's the cow farm. Moo. So I'm going to rip all this out and bring you guys back cuz yeah you don't want to watch me do this it's boring don't worry about it it's boring 
so yeah, I'm gonna try something cool and go... And there we are. The magic of editing cleaned out just like that. Uh, so... Gotta plan this out. I sort of wanted it a curvy shape, I think. Something like... Sort of bevel these edges, I guess. Uh, but first we're gonna need to figure out what we want to store. Uh, they all fit in to these chests. Uh, not much stuff. But I think to figure out what I want, first I'm gonna clean out the floor and I'm gonna check out my other storage room and see what I have there and see what I can sort of crunch into what things I can crunch to one box. Uh, and then make it a lot smaller. Oh, I want to get this too. Uh, so yeah, it's box crunching time. And I figured that out pretty easily. Uh, so I took a look at all of my items in here and figured which ones would fit together. So I'm going to have a redstone box for all of my redstone gadgets, ores, and dust. An ores box for coal, iron, gold, diamonds, emeralds, etc, etc. Tools box. Food box. Building block box. So that's for glass, sandstone, uh, bricks, anything that you use to build hunt mass. Uh, potion box for my potions. I gotta get into potion making more. Uh, miscellaneous items. That's sort of one thing I wish I put in this storage room or thought about was a uh, box. Actually, I'm pretty good at this storage room. It's the old storage room. Uh, the one that we're renovating. I always used to throw all my stuff in one box and then let it fill up with just random crap and then organize it whenever I had nothing else to do. Uh, so that's what the miss items is going to be. Just an empty box that I just throw random stuff in when I'm too lazy to organize it. I'm going to have an ender pearls box for all my ender pearls. Odd blocks, that's going to be for slabs and staircases. A uh, wood box for all types of wood. Dirt and sand box. And a stone box. Altogether it's 12. 1, 2, 3. Oh, I just hiccuped. That was bad. <laughs> Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah, that works. So, what are... the heck is this guy doing in here? Uh, hi. What you doing in my storage and mining room? It's supposed to be way over there. It's funny, because right when I turned off the camera, afterwards a pig walked through here, and I have no idea where he came from. Uh, no idea where he went, either. Oh, there he is. Just random pig coming through my storage room. Uh, that was funny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these boxes in a way that I like them. I think... How many did I need? 12. So 12, 24 boxes I need. Uh, gotta get those. Actually, I should probably run back and get some materials. I'll be back. Okay, so I think I came up with something, and it's pretty rough right now, but... And I think I've seen this on somebody else's YouTube now that I built it. Uh, I'm not sure, but I've seen something like this. Uh, so basically, we have it open, and there's our chests. We're going to have four on each of the three walls, so you walk in, 
-hmm. And there's going to be one to the f or four to the front, four to the left, four to the right. And then you walk out, and this happens. I'm not going to use these blocks, most likely, because they're pretty ugly. Whoops. So, uh, yeah, i got to switch the timings on those repeaters. Uh, so it's just a cool way of revealing your chest. There are some problems with it, like, I tried to make it as compact as possible. And because of that, I used these trapdoors as a bud. So when this redstone updates, uh, the trapdoors update as well, which causes the pistons to push forward. I don't know if that's going to get fixed in 1.5. It, it probably is, so maybe this isn't the greatest design. Uh, but it leaves me so that I don't have to put repeaters in behind these so it compacts it a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> it's like I got shocked or something. That uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I know it might be a little bit much. But I like it. Wouldn't it look cool with like an even another piston right here and though it had some glowstone. Or like you closed it and uh or maybe you stand in front of it right here and there's pressure plates and then just this one opens. And then you step off the pressure plate and I, uh, uh, crafting table sort of reveals itself. That might be cool. I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Yeah, I'll think about it. Hey buddy. Hey guy. You gonna take my grass blocks? You gonna take them from me? No you're not! Oh wait. <laughs> there he goes. Oh man, he left me. Sad face. <laughs> so uh, this is like the first time I've been on the vanilla server in a month-ish. Yeah, it's bad. And I'm getting a lot of lag, so I turned my render distance down. Let me see if it's better now. A little bit. But I came on and found this. A bunch of pine trees. And a note. Thought you needed some decorations, so I gave you some secular winter conifer. Enjoy, just fan. Yay! So I assume he put this here when Christmas was still a thing, back in December, like a month ago. But, uh, yeah, that's very nice of him. And he also has another present for me, which I haven't picked up yet. It's just been so long. I saw it in one of his videos, so I'm gonna go grab that. And I'll come back when I have that. So here we are in Just Fan's village with his super annoying pressure plate walkway. Man, I tell you, it'd be a shame if somebody put like a dispenser under one of these with poison potions in it. Oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, these, oh, I actually died here yesterday, we were playing around, and, uh, I was totally not trying to put a dispenser with a poison potion under there, and I hit a villager and an iron golem got me, so one of them might, 
still be mad at me. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going over here. <laughs> not even the place I was at. So I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but this is by sort of bar, I think it was, in Just Fans Village. Totally incomplete, just like everything else I've ever made. Uh, but I like it. Sort of built into the hill, you have this cool horizon view of the ocean. I like the fireplace a lot. Nice big fur bar. Uh, and then the physically impossible water here. Uh, so that's my bar and just fan, I guess. Happy Halloween, Caleb. That's how long it's been. Ooh, reds. Ooh, nice. Uh, I didn't even think about where I'm gonna put this stuff, so I'll give him a couple things to you. Uh, dirt, eggs, clay. Nope. So thank you, Just Fan. Happy Halloween to you too. Happy January Halloween. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, you can keep that stuff, don't worry about that. If you guys ever want to hide somewhere really well in somebody's base, just do this, if you can see me. I'm not sure if you can, because I'm hiding pretty well right now. Not sure if you'll be able to see me. This is a pretty good hiding spot. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're back in my small storage room. Uh, from what I remember, and I worked a little bit on it, we were making the small storage room. <laughs> uh, so I can't particularly remember the design, but I think I got it. Pretty sure. Oh, hiccup. Sorry. I pretty much the design that I made last Vintage Beef episode was. It's not gonna work because uh, I don't really have much space to play around with. The this is ground up here, uh, so it's gonna be tough. I thought that I could compact it a bit by putting a block by a piston and then right-clicking on it, but that doesn't work, which makes me sad. So I'm going to have to go like this. I'm trying to get reacquainted to redstone, too. It's been so long since I've used, like, redstone. Ah, uh, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure this out. But I'll get it, eventually. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. It's far from complete, but uh... I think it'll turn out well. I miss my other Feed the Beast woods. They're so pretty! Uh... But yeah, still gotta work on the redstone. I got some parts working. Oops, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. Let me grab some dirt. Oh. Uh, so I got some of it working. This is really simple. The top's gonna be tougher. And uh, I got a new mouse. After the mouse fiasco of the... the uh, Ultra Hardcore, which I'll put out soon if I haven't already. Uh, and this mouse is okay. Sometimes it lags a little bit, which is annoying. But, uh, that's what you get for having a wireless mouse, I guess. So, yeah, gonna figure this out. Gonna try to put out some episodes during, while I'm at school, but, man, it's gonna be busy. Uh, so no promises at all. It's gonna be crazy. So... I'll play with this, and I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. Alright.